All right, we're finishing off to with our second to last one of Wave 1 of X-Men 97. Today we're looking at Rogue. Okay, so she's leaning forward just a little bit. I spent a long time trying to get her stand, but here we have the figure. Let's get a look at it. First, let's look at her accessories. She comes with a kind of like ungloved hand where she's going to touch you and take your life source and powers and all that. And she has the hand of holding her glove. So, yeah, but let's first look at the figure. So, let me adjust and push the camera closer a little bit. But you can see her belt is not attached. That does kind of just go wherever. Um, the face sculpt, I actually like, love it. I believe this, the white hair is just a completely separate piece from her red hair. And I do like it. It looks like the character from the show. And, you know, her suit looks good. I don't think it's changed a lot from the original. Um, so, yeah. You see the little X symbol right there. It looks very glossy. I don't mind that. The face looks a little glossy. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. Like I said, it's from an animated show, so. It's going to have certain looks like that, but. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and, of course, you know, she's one of the most talked about characters from the. After seeing the new trailer for the show for um, reasons. I don't remember that scene with Apocalypse very well. But I was like, that was in there. But okay. And then, you know, people called her flat in the new trailer. But we're not going to you know, get into that real quick. But yeah. And she has some trouble standing, which... <sighs> That's all I'm going to say. You just hear a sigh. You, you basically get my full opinion about the, her issues with standing. Like, she just falls over. It's like she just gets not knocked over by Apocalypse again. Fortunately, I don't have Apocalypse to do that. That is on my list. My wish list. If I can get her to stand, you know what? Nope, forget it. I'm just going to do comparisons. I'm not even going to try to finagle with this figure. I got her to stand on the on the shelf. That's all that matters. I'm gonna get her to stand real quick, if I can, so I can grab the other figure. So we're just gonna put her back like that. Okay, let's get up. Storm. Who also has issues standing, but it seems like it's just a just the females and Magneto that I cannot get to stand. I, oh, there she goes. This whole video is just going to be Melbourne trying to get this to stand. You're probably going to ask yourself, Crimson, why don't you just get this play stands? Because um, all I have are DC ones, and I don't think you want to see a Marvel character on a DC display stand now, do you? Let's get Rogue's favorite person in the whole wide world, Gambit. For all you comic book people know that technically Rogue and Gambit end up together, not Rogue and Iceman. Iceman goes with Kitty Pryde. Let's get... The shorty, the short man with claws, Wolverine. And let's get the short Magneto. And right off the bat, you're noticing one thing. Magneto is just a little bit taller than Rogue. That's a little close for comfort there, dude. But yeah, he, he is... Yeah, yeah, you can see... The scaling's fine once you get to this guy, and it's just kind of off, but... Move him, move him, move him. Let's bring out Mr. Sinister. Who... He might be the mascot of the channel at this point. He can't even barely... He can barely fit in the screen. But yeah, no, he towers over Rogue. Like, in general. But let's move all these guys, because they've already had their reviews. Except for this guy. He doesn't get one. This, what you see is what you get. No accessories. And let's move this, and... Her favorite person, and as he just knocks her over. Yeah, the scenes with her and Gambit were always hilarious. She was like, I don't want you to touch me. But, yeah. But, let's see what she looks like with the, uh... Different accessory. And be careful. These things, they just pop right off. 
there's a reason why they did that though it's and you'll see see this when you take off this hand make sure you take this this little cuff piece off because or else she's gonna have a cuff piece on a hand with no glove but no that's why they put made the cuff excuse me made the cuffs separate so she can reach out and like touch she's like I'm gonna take everything from you can you feel it she's draining your life force your source of energy but yeah don't worry you guys can call me weird in the comments and be like crimson you're odd why are you doing that oh but you think it's okay to complain about her butt and now she can't stand Okay, let's continue with looking at this figure. I'm just going to keep it like this, but... That's going to be looking creepy. Let's look at her jacket. I don't know. I don't remember if the jacket's changed from the show or not. But it is nice. Nicely sculpted. Of course, the sleeves are separate. You can see her shirt, her main costume. Um, the paint right here did look like it smeared a little, but it's not as terrible as some people have said. And then you can see it right here. Honestly, I feel like this should have just been not attachment, a separate piece. But that's my opinion. I don't make the choices. You can see. You no, know, stop looking. We're not looking at that. We're looking at the paint. You can see, like, right here. It's a little lighter right there. And you can see, like, the strokes are kind of smeared a little bit. Um, no, there's nothing else really to it. So let's get into the articulation. So Rogue has base generic female articulation. Her head can go all the way around. It can look up that much, but it can't go back far, far, far because of her. She can look down that much. But again, not too much movement. Her arms can go all the way around. They can go out that far, up that far, and then go all the way down. Single single jointed wrists, I mean elbows, just because of her sleeve. Um, wrist swivel, her hands, her hands can move. And her torso, it doesn't, torso swivel, pivot doesn't move, it goes that far and go all the way around. It doesn't go that far and it doesn't go back that far because of that. And uh, yeah, you can see a little smear. Um, Yeah, don't do what I just did. Don't go all the way around. You might smear the paint on there. Uh, thigh swivel, legs can go far that, go back that much. Of course, her legs can only go far that much because of reasons. Um, double jointed pinless knees, which is nice. You see the new legs. Uh, feet can go f back that much and go forward that much. And there is ankle pivot. Uh, uh, that is about it. Um, my knees on mine were a little stiff to begin with, but after just playing with it, it they loosened up eventually. It did take a minute, but I will say these, my least mine haven't been super stiff, which is a blessing in itself. And then, yeah, but no, that's a, uh, that's rogue. Of course, uh, not everybody, I, this is, this is a good figure, my only rogue. As most of these are my own. She can't. Only problem is she cannot stand for the love for the for just anything in her life. She cannot stand. I have to get some display stands for these. They don't stand very well. Some of them don't. Wolverine stands fine. Other ones are just kind of okay. But today we had a look at Marvel Legends X Men ninety seven Rogue. Comment down below so far which one is your favorite out of the ones I've done. Next episode. Next one we'll be having a look at is Bishop. And anyways, remember you're never too old to be a kid. My my cash app is down below if you want to help out and support the channel. And that's it. Have a good day. Crimson out.